time, back here at home, there are now at least 16 cases of the coronavirus here in Clark County. And according to the Southern Nevada Health District, that those are the latest numbers. And one is confirmed through the CDC. 15 others are presumptive positive, meaning the CDC still needs to confirm. The I team's Vanessa Murphy talked with two health officials today. And Vanessa, really, logically, just the tip of the iceberg. Yeah, and this isn't to spread panic. It's, it's just the reality. The more testing means more cases will be discovered. As we've reported right now, there is a shortage of tests. We learned today the lab here is at capacity, and a medical investigator tells me he's hearing from some local hospitals and physicians. There is also a shortage of swabs and viral transport media, like those tubes used once the test is collected. People are getting turned away for testing if they don't meet certain criteria, like recent travel to an area with many cases, if they didn't have contact with someone who was confirmed as a positive and if they don't have a fever and respiratory issues. The Southern Nevada Health District reports having 1,000 tests right now for a population of about 2 million. Also consider the estimated 3 million plus tourists here in January alone. So far, the health district reports 223 tests completed. Some patients have been tested more than once. The Southern Nevada Health District is working to get more equipment for the lab here. And Governor Steve Sisolak said yes. Yesterday, his office has requested 20,000 tests from the CDC. He and the health district do not know when those tests will arrive. How frustrating is, is this that we don't have enough tests here? I think it certainly hampers our ability to, uh, to do what we need to do because we, we are having a difficult time assessing how many cases we actually have. I know there are a lot of people. Um, in Southern Nevada Health District, in our lab, and the federal government who are working on rapidly expanding this. Um, that's something that we have some control of. We don't have as much control as we'd like. If you want to test, you are urged to call your primary care physician first or the health district hotline, 702-759-INFO. The hotline runs on limited hours right now to 7 p.m. The director of community health tells me they are working on making the hotline 24-7. Now, what we also heard today, taking measures to cancel events, close buffets, and change behaviors like skipping a handshake can make a drastic difference in a few weeks. We are going to see a spike in cases. It's inevitable. Even though everyday life is disturbed, local health officials are trying to reduce the numbers of people who will catch coronavirus here.